MSNBC has uh, dropped the Tiffany Cross weekend show after a nearly two year run and under circumstances that are at the very least interesting. Uh, they chose not to renew her contract and for now will be filling her time slot with a series of rotating hosts. Her staff was informed of the decision on Friday morning, uh, but they will apparently remain in place. Now previous to this show, she had been the DC bureau chief for BET's uh, networks. And Cross has not, as far as we've seen yet, spoken to media about this. But there has been speculation about why exactly this show, which is apparently quite popular, was doing very well in the ratings. Yeah. Um, apparently, let's see, has uh, averages the second most African American viewers of any weekend cable news show, 4.6 million viewers per month. And by the way, the show's audience skews 55% uh, uh, female. So all things that the, the network is saying that they're looking for and appear to have gotten and yet she's now out. So there are a couple of different potential explanations about why exactly this happened. Um, some are saying that her relationship with the network was becoming frayed in part because executives were growing concerned about her willingness to address statements made by cable news hosts on other networks and indulging in commentary executives did, felt did not meet the standards of MSNBC or NBC news. And so let's jump to the first of that. So uh, there's two different instances of this that we can point to, perhaps there are others. After Megyn Kelly attacked her earlier this month and called her the most racist person on television, Cross called Kelly the blackface expert, referencing past commentary by Megyn Kelly about blackface costumes and that sort of thing. Uh, she later apologized, Megyn Kelly, uh, in that particular case. There was also an incident that you might remember from just a week or two ago with Tucker Carlson, where Tucker Carlson accused her and MSNBC of trying to incite a race war against white people, and in particular, threatening white women who are, in his words, of course, the key to reproducing the white race. Yes, that is a quote that an anchor said on a show, Tucker Carlson there. He said that she's trying to foment white genocide. Uh, she's trying to replay Rwanda's 1994 ethnic cleansing. But in this case, it would be white people who were wiped out. And so because Megyn Kelly called her a racist and she responded and Tucker Carlson said she's trying to get hundreds of millions of white people to be killed. She's gotta go, I suppose. Now, in the last 24 hours, she did also have some commentary about Ron DeSantis and Florida. That is uh, interesting, I can't actually say some of these words, but it referenced Florida as being the, I'm gonna say penis of America, and that it should be castrated. And so that's controversial. Now she means it as a metaphor, she doesn't actually want to cut off a la Bugs Bunny, Florida, so that it like drifts off into the ocean or anything. Um, but those might be some of the reasons that she was fired. Yeah, uh, okay, we're hiring just so you know. Um, so um, we'll be uh, talking to Tiffany soon, um, if she's interested. Because look, I don't know that we're gonna particularly hire, we'll have a conversation about it. But I'm interested in aggressive hosts. I'm not MSNBC who thinks you should be a doormat for Fox News and allows Tucker Carlson to fire your host. Mm -hmm. What a loser network. Tucker Carlson attacked her, she said something back and you fired her? That's a surrender to racist, fascist Tucker Carlson. I mean, what a pathetic, pathetic thing to do. Now look guys, when they, the news came out this morning that they had severed the relationship, I thought, I don't know man, people are saying crazy things these days. Maybe she said something crazy behind the scenes that I don't know about. So I said, look, barring something that she said that I don't know, it seems like this was a terrible move, right? But I was worried, but no, it's that that's gone now. Because so, for let me explain why. So someone who's got really good ratings on MSNBC, but all of a sudden have MSNBC executives leak about them and then sever the relationship. Gee, I, I don't know who <laughs> else might have been in that situation. So for those of you who don't know, that was exactly what happened to me. I was the six o'clock host for MSNBC. MSNBC starts, I had the best ratings they had ever gotten at six o'clock. I literally in the conversation with the head of MSNBC said, ratings are not an issue, right? Obviously, because we all see the ratings and we all see that it was the best they'd ever gotten at that time slot. And he's like, no, 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 ratings are not an issue. Okay, so then what's the issue? Okay, and when I was at MSNBC, the very first interview I said that I said I was gonna uh, kick Fox News's ass and make them cry. 
Okay, they, they called me in, NBC officials, PR people called me in and said, don't, don't do it. I'm like, wait, I thought they were our competition. <laughs> uh, aren't we trying to get press to, to and, and beat them? They're like, no, 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 no. You don't know how scary they are. I swear to God, this is a real conversation. They said they have some of the, uh, they have our anchors and our executives followed. I was like, I was like, That's shouldn't you report that? You're NBC News. Shouldn't you report that the other guys are lunatics that are having you followed? Some I don't know it. I didn't get followed, as far as I know. Followed to what end? To but you're telling me to be a coward, and that if I'm not a coward, I'll have trouble. And here she is. She was the most aggressive host on NBC, MSNBC by a long shot. Mehdi Hassan's a great host, okay? And so, Mehdi, watch yourself, okay? I don't mm -hmm. want to put any ideas. But when I saw Tiffany Cross say these things that were true and aggressive on air, I was like, they're letting her say that. Maybe MSNBC's changed, right? Because there's new leadership, etc. Mm -hmm. They haven't changed at all. And look at this leak. Now it's for sure that she didn't say anything outrageous off air that we don't know about. The executives leaked to Variety and told them, yeah, she dared to fight back against Tucker Carlson and Megyn Kelly. That's not what NBC News does. NBC News lays down like a goddamn doormat and lets the fascists walk all over them. Yeah. And remember, Tiffany, you are not to do the news, you are not to be honest, you are to do corporate media. You don't see corruption, you don't see racism, you don't see any problems with the Republicans. Our job is to kiss their ass. We're MSNBC, the left wing station. Hilarious joke, thank you. Thank you for proving what a joke you are. Like I said, Tiffany, call me. Well, I on this one, I think you have to yield to Jenk. He knows MS, their culture, and what they'll accept, and it, they're, they're so mainstream. But as you, as Jenk was speaking, I was thinking, well, in a way, they're a reflection of the Democrats and some of the points we've made this hour, which is that you know there's sort of a politeness and a a tame quality to Democratic messaging, and it's only lost elections and the in your face quality that you need, especially now to cut through the media noise. Uh, that is in short supply in the mainstream media in uh, with certainly opinion hosts. And so uh, I think, as I say, when it comes to the actual specific culture at, at MS, uh, Jenk is pretty much the ranking officer on deck, but it would seem as though they're all about the politeness. So I want to say one last thing about this, because guys, think about the contrast. Because it's not that MSNBC can't be tough, if you remember, in 2020, when Bernie Sanders mm -hmm. won the first three primaries, Chuck Todd called his followers brown shirts. His family died in the Holocaust, and he called his followers Nazis. That's as tough as it gets, right? Chris Matthews said that if Bernie Sanders wins, there might be executions in Central Park. Jeez. Okay, so they know how to be super tough, but only towards the left wing. I mean, look at corporate media. It's just a, a hall of mirrors, everything is an illusion. They set up a left wing channel that only attacks the left wing. And if you attack the right wing, they fire you. Isn't that amazing? Madness. And then all of corporate media goes, oh yeah, MSNBC is left wing. MSNBC is the left wing. They know that the Republicans are right and the progressives are wrong. They are the left wing. And unfortunately, they, they brainwash people like Fox News does. And they brainwash them into voting for corporate Democrats and voting against their interests. I'll give you one last stat. In Mississippi, 65% of Democratic primary voters wanted Medicare for all. But the press told them, Bernie cannot win, Bernie cannot win, Bernie cannot win. Are you hypnotized yet? Bernie cannot win, progressives cannot win. You must vote for the corporate Democrat, you must vote for the corporate Democrat. And so you know what they did? Bernie, who wants Medicare for all, they said no. Joe Biden says, I'm never gonna do Medicare for all. They voted 78% for Joe Biden. Why, they were hypnotized. By MSNBC telling you, no, progressives can never win. You should only elect Democrats who lie down like floor mats for the Republicans and let Tucker Carlson walk all over them, okay? By the way, that's the same exact thing they said about Hillary Clinton. And Hillary Clinton lost to Donald Trump. Did they learn anything from it? No. Joe Biden, by the way, won by 43,000 votes in three swing states. Otherwise, Trump would have won re election. He was this close to losing. Yet, the next election, I guarantee it, I'll tell you ahead of time, and you will see, write it down in stone. There is a 0% chance that I am wrong. 
MSNBC will go out there and say, you gotta vote for the corporate Democrat. You gotta vote for the conservative Democrat. They're the only ones who can win. They're the only ones who can win. The progressive don't vote for the progressive. They're never gonna win. Hypnotize, 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 hypnotize. And remember, Tucker Carlson's great. Don't criticize Tucker Carlson. Don't criticize Megyn Kelly. No, no, no. We're the left wing station. We're the left wing station. Okay. <laughs> and the rest of the media be like, oh yeah, yeah, left wing, left wing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the left wing says Republicans are right. Vote for Republicans and conservative Democrats. Yeah. Okay, that's media for you, and that's MSNBC. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.